Yo what's going on guys it's Tom and welcome back to a brand new video and my second video of the day and this is going to be a short little video regarding wheel settings on F1 2016. Now I've been doing this video for the last couple of years and it seems to help a lot of people out. I mean just for, as an example last year's one got over 16,000 views. So I feel like this is a video that could help you guys. So um, we're going to jump straight into it here. So as you can see we're going to go into the settings and um you're going to make your way to the preferences tab and then go into customize controls and scroll down to the advanced wheel settings now i've got to say f1 2016 has a really nice balance and i'm actually really happy with the default settings so i'm quite happy to not touch anything i'm quite happy with how it is but if any of you guys have possibly problems with your brake or with your steering or so on and so forth for example me i had a sticky brake pad up until about last week so i had to run five percent brake dead zone in order for me to not notice the broken brake but um we're going to move into the main part of this and it's the false feedback settings now i feel like this makes a huge difference in this year's game now when you get the game all your settings will be maxed out to a hundred percent so that's the strongest you're going to get it and in my opinion it's way too strong it's literally ripping the wheel off of your hands so um the best thing that you could do is um if you're someone like me who does like a fairly strong wheel but still likes to be able to like let's say um let's say for example if you want to do a um a quick counter steer like to say if you're going to lose the rear end you want to like snap the wheel back and try and catch the car then with 100 percent on all three values you might not be able to do that so you might have to reduce it a little bit so um for my liking it's still a fairly heavy wheel um the main one is the environmental effects which is stuff like curbs when the car spins it really does make the wheel vibrate a bit too much for my liking and i feel like the wheel's going to explode so what I've got is 100% full feedback strength, 20% environmental effect, and also um, the wheel weight is on 60. Now the wheel weight is a very variable option depending on how light or heavy you like your wheel. But um, those that is the main gist of the settings. So that's why I run. I do recommend you guys go try it out for yourselves. I do run a Logitech G27, and uh, because of this Logitech G27, I have to use the Logitech Profiler whenever I boot up my PC. And when I go into the Logitech Profiler, I always run. 360 degrees of rotation which is what this game is so the game will advise you to run 360 and that's exactly what i run for this so basically all in all the only settings i run is 360 degrees on the profiler 100 percent of force feedback strength 20 percent environmental and 60 percent wheel weight and those are the four settings that i uh, move around when i fill about with until i get the perfect balance uh, this this still could be subject to change in terms of a couple of weeks down the line once I get more used to the game. But for now, I'm quite happy with these settings. These are the ones that I used when I tested the beta, and they still work absolutely fine. So those are my settings, guys. Hopefully, they do help you out. Um, if, you, if you have any questions about any other wheels, then I do recommend... Um, unfortunately, I can't really answer them because I've not used those wheels myself. So I do recommend you go over to Cody, the Cody's blog, and also Cody Master's website to go and have a look at the supported wheel list for this year's game. And uh, in theory, these settings should work for those wheels also. But... Um, nevertheless guys just a short video hopefully you did enjoy and if you did miss the one upload earlier today there'll be a card in the top right hand corner of your screen and also a link in the description down below but nevertheless guys please leave a like on the video if you're new around here please be sure to subscribe and i'll be back tomorrow with more videos so i've been Thomas msd and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye